Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is part of my learning to fly FPV series, my FPV journey. I haven't made a video about it for a long time because I haven't flown. And the reason I haven't flown FPV is because I worked out I was a bit scared of flying my Taycan and then breaking it because of the lockdown, it's almost impossible to get things here. And before, even without the lockdown, it's very difficult. So I think I was a bit scared of doing it. Anyway, I converted my Sema and put a camera on it. I took the camera out of my, if you've watched my other videos, you see I converted a car to FPV. I've taken the camera out of that and put it onto here. And I actually took to it like duck to water. I took off and was uh, flying it normally. So maybe it's the fact, you'll see in the videos, I'm gonna show you, I hit a tree. So, you know, it's the adage about insurance. What tree, that tree, yeah, I hit the tree, jumped out and hit me. Um, you'll see me, I hit the, managed to hit the tree quite high up and it fell from quite a distance, but it didn't break. I straight away put it upright and carried on flying again. So um, it's, it's, it's interesting. And this is a very cheap way of getting into FPV, especially with the little pilot goggles. Uh, because I'm on quite a tight budget, I couldn't buy a fat sharks or normal goggles and they work absolutely brilliantly. There is nothing wrong with them. So anyway, let's have a look at some of the video that I made and you can then maybe put comments in the comment section below saying how you think I'm doing. Probably rubbish, but anyway, there we go. Let's go switch over to the footage. Before we get into the flight footage, let's just take a look at the same quad. You can see that all I've done is made a hole in the top of the quad so I could put the cable through into the body of the quadcopter. And all I did was use some double-sided tape to hold it there. It's a little bit flexible, but that's good because if you crash it, it's more likely not to break the aerial off, the antenna off. Um, it will move around, it's got a bit of flexibility. Then if we had a quick look at the wiring, just in case you wanted to do this to your own quad, you can see where I've connected the live on the video, and then you can see where I've connected the ground. Now this allows it to only turn the camera and the VTX on when you put the switch on of the quad. Now what it did do was reduce, the, obviously, the time the quad could fly. Before I would get eight and a half minutes, now I'm, so I'm playing it safe and flying for five minutes. And I've measured the voltage on the battery and it's, it's fairly safe, but that's quite a long flight time. Okay, let's go to that footage. Thank you. 
Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you really enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments please leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Bye bye. Bye.